levels. California's drought conditions are driving an unusual plan to save millions of salmon. Dry riverbeds may make it impossible for young salmon to travel to the ocean. So as Jean L reports, federal and state officials are planning on giving them a little lift. Getting to the ocean may be an impossible task for juvenile salmon this spring. Drought conditions may strand millions of fish from hatcheries like the Coleman Hatchery near Redding. Conditions are so dry, state and federal wildlife officials are now planning to truck the young salmon to safety. They'll put them in tanker trucks and they'll drive them down and they will unload them into acclimation net pens. John McManus with the Golden Gate Salmon Association says giving 18 million juveniles a lift will help keep the fragile salmon fishery afloat. The juvenile fish this year represent the adult fish that are, will support our fishery in the year 2016. So if we get these fish moved in trucks, their survival rate goes way up. There is a risk some trucked salmon won't know where to return to spawn, but federal officials say it appears the severity of the drought will prevent natural migration, putting an entire industry at risk. It'll be great for business. Workers at the Pacifica Farmers Market are relieved to hear there's a plan in place because local salmon sells faster than farmed or imported fillets. It's actually a big difference in taste and quality when fresh, new and local salmon comes around. Federal officials say it's a one-time contingency plan they hope will help keep the West Coast salmon population stable. And that was Jean L. reporting. Now, if drought conditions remain, trucking salmon here to the bay could begin in April.